So it's uh, now 11.33, and we're finally on our way to Animal Kingdom. I may end up killing these two before we get there. <laughs> but we'll see about that. We'll see about that. I've been up since like 6 a.m., 7 a.m., and ready to go by like 8.30. So we're going to have a new segment for today. It's called Fashion with the Lynches. And um, <laughs> I'm dressing in my Stitch I Tried shirt, nice and blue. My bluish shorts and... Uh, my blue and silver shoes because I know that I am going to Pandora and Pandora people are blue so I will fit right in I'll just be like the midget Pandora person because they're like 12 feet tall that's that's, a, that's our bus there's like it's like no one on it. That was our bus. <laughs> you that off the video. And um, Savannah, what are you wearing? I'm wearing yellow because I'm a cheese it. You're a Lion King yellow because you're gonna go on the safari. And what are you wearing? I'm wearing my dinosaur shirt for a dinosaur. Wait, did I go? You're at the wrong park. So oh, no. <laughs> it's our bus. It's finally here. John, everyone. Welcome to Walt Disney World Transportation System. I see Pandora. All right, Animal Kingdom. Are you guys excited? You are? You don't seem very excited. You don't seem like you're having a very good time at Disney World at all. so many things over here. I feel like I'm missing things. That's cool looking up. Hi, buddy. Oh, those are natural here, too. Wait, yeah, what's on his head? It's pretty cool. I'm going to want to begin me their And then we're gonna repeat after me, the wilderness must be explored. We're gonna show me the back of your hands. We're gonna cross them, we're making bird wings. We're gonna say, go, go! Excellent, we're gonna get our tiger paws out. We're gonna say, rawr. Excellent work, my friend. You have just earned your very first badge. It is gonna be already in the first page for you. If you flip back, it shows you a map of all the different locations, and then we are exploring till 6.45 today. You don't remember Kevin? <laughs> That's cool. Isn't that cool? I sadly don't have that bag here. But I can get you the fossil bag inside. Yeah. Alright, what do we think? T-Rex? T-Rex, very good. How about this one? This one is also that one. If you've ever seen this one before? This one is called a tri Very good. Lots of states have different state fossils, right? Just like how they have state flowers and state birds and things like that. So far, we haven't done too much here, but I do really like this park. Kids are walking over right now. I found the dinosaur ride, so I think we're gonna go on that. Savannah's scared of it, but. In all honesty, this is the worst ride that she could go on today, scariness wise. So I think she'll be okay. That's cool. Look at that dinosaur. So, what did you think of dinosaur? It, I thought I was going to die. I hated it. You hated it? Because it was digging into my skin. My side? Okay, my seatbelt wouldn't. It wouldn't. Um, what's the word? It wouldn't stop. So body. every time it went up a hill, I'd Back fly out of the sea and it would just come with me. I thought it was way too jerky, way too bumpy for yeah. any ride. I hated it. Like what that's what like? it would feel like if I... What I liked about it is it when the guy who was eating the, croc the alligator. That was pretty funny, huh? I think that was worse than off-roading. That would be like off-roading, but driving like a maniac super fast just to drive like a maniac. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Thing feels like the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Look at 
at the dinosaurs going up and down. Up and down. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there it goes. Ah. I'm so scared right now. What'd you find? They're helping me. Okay, I thought this was just like a bird on the side of the road. No, it was in the thing. So, what's the deal with these guys? Did they clip their wings to keep them here or something? Or? They're stork. I think so. It's kind of weird. Alright, how is it, Santa? Good. Yeah? I like the birds more than the cage floor. What are you doing? I'm feeding my friends. Your friends? Who are your friends? Uh, all the tiny... Yeah, that's Dolores. Frederick, I don't know her No, all the tiny birds are named uh, Van and Clumso characters. Uh-huh. That's not for you. It's doing. Hey, what's up, dude? Can I get some of the meat? Five now. They're called ibis birds. They're native Florida. They're kind of like the seagulls here. They're just everywhere over the wetland. Hello, fellow explorers. <laughs> awesome. So we're going to be on the page before here, page seven, for our flamingo badge. Flamingo badge. And do you guys know anything cool about flamingos already? They're pink. They are Their pink. Their food turns them pink. Exactly. <laughs> so what color do they start out as? Do you guys know? White. White or gray, right? And it takes them about three years to fully turn. I, I tell you, this wilderness explorers keep putting me on the spot. What? They keep putting me on the spot. All these questions. What is that? A giant dragon fruit? No, no, this is jackfruit. So each different plant has its own adaptation or change that allows it to live in the environment that it's So how many wilderness explorer badges do you have now? One, two, uh -huh. um, three, I think I only have three. So you have like four now? Yeah, I have four. Very cool. Did you learn stuff? Mm-hmm. Look at, look, it's the floating islands of Pandora. I learned that you, um, sometimes, um, like pollinators are usually sometimes bats and butterflies and bees. Yeah, like bats are the only ones who pollinate the agave plants. So without bats, there wouldn't be any tequila. So without bats, there wouldn't be any margaritas. There's people are down there right now. That mint is not floating. They're floating. Look, they're floating. They're floating. Wow. Floating island. Okay, so we're gonna go on uh, yeah, you guys go on Flight of Passage. Alright, Savannah. No, I feel a little better now. You ready to fly? And then the walls open up. All right, we're in the facility. Everyone see me? Yes. Sure. <laughs> Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. All right, everyone, stay <laughs> on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. <laughs> I'm doing great. All done. They're all clear. Great. Oh, thank you. I saw you again. Wow, you must have a twin. <laughs> That's a guy that you can all see me, so move a little if you can't. Before we send you to the link chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Huh? Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora yeah. Conservation Initiative. 
you're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi okay. and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. The way you'll be able to fly is by linking to an avatar that's already... Anna, what did you think of it? Was it fun at all? It was, but it's still like a... What, what part was fun? <laughs> the part at the end, when it was, when it was pretty. When it was pretty? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Madison liked it. I liked it. It was fun, except I had to comfort Savannah through half the ride. So, no, that part kind of sucked. But Epcot, let's sneak in Screw Ep Epcot. <laughs> Where are we going? And why didn't I get to see the giant avatar thing? What do I have to wait in the long line for that? Okay, so show me, Savannah. What are they? Okay, pick anyone you want. The oh, it's weird. Does it look stupid? Uh, no, not really. Where's our phone? <laughs> what is that, Savannah? Let me see. Oh, is that a baby avatar? That's pretty neat. Those, yeah. good, look at that, how big she is compared to us. Remember, she's 10 feet tall. Keep an eye out for your wilderness explorer. There it is. See? Just gonna take an RV. Longer. Isn't that cool? Okay, what, what two can I cross off? Our surroundings though yeah. are definitely changing yeah. up. And what's there the is picture? way more vegetation uh, no. over what's here. One? I don't There's know. one hippo. Make sure your eyes are on the water oh, over here. Hippos, they look like giant brown rocks. They do like really, to stay really underwater. <laughs> they can be underwater for upwards <laughs> to about eight minutes. There's Salma. Oh, I'm gonna come over this side because there's a little baby hippo. Oh, we just look at it, it's a little baby. Next to the island. Hippos, there's a little baby saddle right there. It's a baobab tree. It's also known as the tree of life because it stores water in its trunk for nine months long. And during those very long nine months, it doesn't have sight. There are a few animals wandering around in that back part of Savannah. Inside their caves. So we'll see mm, what they're doing. Let's see. So it looks like they are out, but they're still taking their naps. Oh, they're just on top of the cave. So it. they are the spotted hyenas. Hyenas. Those ones are going to be up to about three to four feet. Remember you rode on one of those? And you oh, kind of think that those four are great herding animals. They can be found in herds of upwards two. Which means if they wanted to, they could spring right through our truck. Look. And it looks like we found the giraffes. Giraffes are pretty tall. They are going to be upwards to about 18 to 20 feet tall. Okay, look. I bet the giraffes are staying all back to you They are tall. And something very large must have knocked over the tree. Like the African elephant uh, on our right. right the bulldozer of Africa, because they knock over trees with those tusks. <laughs> so we'll go over there and see if we can get another look at the elephant. There is an opening up here on our right. Did you get your elephant? The elephant, yep. though. Okay. It's All right, keep looking. It's, it's coming up. very most huge. There, so there it is. Look. It's going to be prehensile. It does act like a hand to help it pick things off the ground, like its food or its water. So they do actually eat red flies. <laughs> does provide them some vitamins and minerals they don't get from their usual diets. Isn't that cool? I want to 
Who's your baby? Elephants See what he's doing with his are trunk? are some very massive animals though. They are scared of the noises bees make. So, in Africa, they'll put behinds around their traps. So these are going to be the largest type of flamingo. They're also the lightest type of pink flamingo. Flamingos are pink though, so they do get their color from their diet, which is shrimp. Because inside of shrimp, there's a mineral called beta carotene. Ostrich? But it's great camouflagers, the cheetahs. Uh, so we'll see if we can spot right. any up. cheetahs out here. They do like to stay in the very far back and hide in the bushes. Uh, cheetahs are some very fast runners though. Like the <laughs> Cheetahs are not long distance runners. They're short distance runners. Oh, oh my god. These are some giant numbers. Look at that. Lions. Teen touch one day out. What? Uh, no, but we and might see that one. They're also nocturnal, so they are going to be mostly Sam? active in the nighttime. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. The lion is the cave jar. Look, I have one scarier to the predator. Okay, we got a bunch. Oh no, I have no idea. It looks over here. There's some very large holes. They're like the largest burrowers. Not only on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, which is what you were just on, but in the wilds as well. You got a bunch of them. That tour was stupid. I could have given myself my own tour if they would have just let me off. If they would have just let you off. Yeah, I'd get myself my own tour. You just want to get off of that thing, huh? I want to. I want to pet them. They drop us off in the middle, because that's cool. I wanted to go touch the lions. I wanted to go pet them, because we all know they're big little house cats. I think they just want to be you all. Did they do? All right, what you got? Fruits and lemonade. And I got a frozen banana. And then she gave us some popcorn on the house. My dad wants to be a Disney princess. Yeah. That's a dream. She gave us popcorn on the house because uh, we didn't get to see all the animals. It's very sad. I'm, I'm bummed out now. You're welcome! Good job! <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what she gets for not waking up at 7 a.m. Get her, Savannah! You asked for this! Get it, Bear! Come on! Spray her! I'm just gonna shoot more selfish. Okay, my one nitpick. What? Wasn't as good as Grizzly, but you get less wet in the feet. So my socks are not drenched. <laughs> well, did we get you wet on the sprinklers? Yeah. Good. Now look, look at the plants, how they're all lighting up. Oh yeah, look, the sidewalk's lighting up. In Pandora, everything comes alive. This place is pretty neat. Dude, I love Animal Kingdom. I want to live here. What? He's glowing? Yeah. There's black lights everywhere. I want to live here. I love Avatar so much. Yeah. Just to walk around here at night, it's pretty. So, your review of Animal Kingdom, Madison? 10 out of 10. Definitely worth it. Yeah? yeah. They could use more, but I think it's a great park, and it's it's very different than anything else. I Disney. want more rides like Flight of Passage. Yeah. Oh, you like Epcot? Those did, did have a lot of slow rides. That was pretty nice. Me and her are the same. We like the slower rides. What were we talking about? Uh, she says she likes Epcot. That's her favorite one. I didn't hear you saying this. 
Ooh, look at the plants, Anna. Look at that. Look at this. They're all lighting up on the edges. These are supposed to be like chemical things. There are kids on here. Yeah, yeah. this is a kids this ride. Is a good ride, Anna. This is like a kids ride. This is like a geek ride. This is a slow boat ride. This is it. This is all it is. <laughs> What's that? Caterpillar? Oh, there's a guy. Wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, he's lighting up, huh? Is that that thing that was in the gift shop? I think so. What's above us? Ooh, look at the spinny things. I don't know, they're pretty cool though. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Yeah, look at them up there. Oh, that's neat. Are they like frogs? I don't remember what they are. They have six legs. Huh. I can't wait for Avatar 2 and 3 to come out. Wait, what? This new movie's coming? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, look at the deer thing. Isn't that cool? Look at that. They're all going on the horse of things. Oh, there she is. Is she gonna go to sleep on us? Maybe next time Savannah comes here, she'll try it again. All right, what is it? I'm gonna try this. It's a steamed bun burger. Yeah. Okay. Did we all get kids meals? Yeah, these are all kids meals. I think the adult one comes with two. I'm not sure. This is a vlog. It's called a burger pod. Get it right, school kids. <laughs> burger pod? It's like the Bow Burger. So what did you think of, of um, Animal Kingdom? You like it better now? Mm -hmm. well, like, I said I said a 7, but now I'm going to give you it You said a 5. No, yeah. But now I'm going to give it an 8. An 8? Okay. Just giving it an 8. Worst pain ever. So Savannah is giving it an 8 now. What is your rating of Animal Kingdom? Oh, Animal Kingdom? Yeah. Ten. You like Animal Kingdom? I'll give it a nine, actually, because the animals aren't as nice as I thought. All right, so if Pandora wasn't here, five, like, Gosh, like I a six. six. Yeah. The moral of this story, I think, is that I tell you my Avatar makes sense. one because land can make a huge way. difference. Can I tell you my um my favorite rides? Hmm. What? It was the Safari one and the one with Navi River Journey. The Safari one and Navi River Journey. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Navi River. Oh, I love bell buns, but I'm not sure about a cheeseburger one. Mm -hmm. I bought them respectfully. <laughs> Opinion? 
it worth the eight dollars for the kids' meal? It tastes like a cheeseburger, but it's in, <laughs> but it's in a bad one. No, I'm just gonna bite. Let's see what's oh inside. My God. That is amazing. Ten of them. I want ten of them. You would eat again. I would eat again. Yeah, seriously. You know what it tastes away. like? It tastes like a McDonald's cheeseburger inside of a bao bun. Yes. It tastes exactly like a McDonald's cheeseburger. Y'all know that McDonald's cheeseburgers are the best. Can I have those? That's true. The taste of no, we cannot have my nature chips. This is mine. I purposely got kids meals because they were like enough food. Yeah, I'm also not very hungry today. Try the trilobite twist. That thing fills you up for an entire day and it's really good. I said this is real Chinese cuisine. <laughs> look at the look at all of the theming inside of here. Isn't this How pretty? Did someone come up with this though? I don't know. They were eating a McDonald's cheeseburger and then a co-worker brought in bao bunch from Frontier Walk in Burbank. With a Disney play. Imagineering studio exact yes, sitting there. Exactly. It's right near Frontier Walk. It's very pretty. I wouldn't be surprised if honestly we were correct. Are you listening to the noises too? Yeah, you got all the sound effects and everything. Yeah, these are those bites. My eyes. <laughs> my eyes. Oh, that's creepy. Let me see. Wait, wait, show them. Show them. Okay, wait. Look. Okay, look at that. That's cool. Wow, all these things. Like it goes all purple. I think this is like part of the line. <laughs> when it gets really long, yeah. They run it up here. Isn't it cool the ground and everything? <laughs> it said it said that if you move your things close to the pond, you might get wet because there's animals that shoot things in the air to get little flying creatures. And, But yeah, definitely underestimated this park. I, I thought there was gonna be like a half day park, maybe something like that. It ended up being, it ended up being like a two day park, really, when there's so much to like see. It's not even things to do, there's so much to see, like animals. We didn't even get to half the animals because they stopped at like 6.45 or, or earlier. And we kind of got here at like around noon, so kind of sucks, but uh, if I had known, I would have made this a two-day park. I don't think we're going to be able to, to do this another day with a park hopper, but we'll see. Maybe I can get them to change it. But, uh, yeah. It's been, a, it's been a good time in Animal Kingdom, and uh, I would definitely come back to Florida just to go to this. And maybe I've caught. <laughs> just be like, okay, cool. So, yeah. Now we just gotta find our bus before they stop running the bus in 10 minutes. So we'll make it. You know. Night. All right. Well, let's get to our bus. Get, get on back to Pop. Hopefully. How many miles did we walk today? We walked roughly eight miles. Like eight miles. Okay. Not bad. I don't know how much we were averaging every other day, but. Like uh, the six most that we walked ten. was Epcot, and we walked 14 miles. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. To the right. See, right there, 28, Disney's Pop Century. Right there. There they are. This is us. Okay, we found our bus. Here it is. Good job, guys. Good job, we made it.